Hey everybody and welcome to episode 78 of Daisy Knits. I'm Daisy and we're going to try this again. I'm fair warning you now, I have a passel of children running all around my house. And they don't just like play, they scream and they yell, they're kids. But sometimes my mic picks them up or they come screaming through the house because somebody cheated and went around the back or whatever. Anyways, I'm trying to do this without children screaming through. We will see if that happens. But we came for knitting, so let's get back to the knitting, shall we? I have a pair of finished socks. I know you guys are like, okay, we get it. But they're finished, finished, so I can officially say done. Put them in the sock drawer for when it gets cool or when my feet get too cold because of the air conditioner. These are the Afterthought Everything socks. I did not use the waist yarn method that the pattern recommended. I did a true afterthought because I was too lazy to measure. Um, I used 93 grams of yarn, which tickles me pink because that's a ton of yardage and they are nice and tall and wonderful. Um, the colorway is enclosed by Penguin Soup. So, socks done. But I also finished a second project this week. If you've been with me for a while, you know, I think back in the fall, I had this great idea that I was going to practice my Portuguese knitting. And I had picked this yarn that I had won from ZK. And it was a bunch of mini skeins and they all gradiated into each other. And so I had magic kicked it up and I was going to practice my Portuguese knitting on a, just a simple bias scarf. Well, that had been sitting over in my stash and I would do around maybe once a month, or a row, maybe once a month. This weekend, I needed something brainless and easy for traveling, and I just wanted some brain candy. Since my socks were done, I wanted something kind of simple. And so I found it as I was pawing through things to figure out what I wanted to do. And I said, that's it. Let's get real. I'm never going to finish this at this rate. It's a scarf. I always tell beginners, don't do a scarf. There's a reason. So I frogged it back so I wouldn't have tension issues and I cast back on either Friday or Saturday. I want to say Saturday, but one of the two. I'll find out when I make the project page because I haven't done that yet. And I cast it on and I have to say this tickles me pink. It is just amazing. I know I'm scrolling. I feel like I'm scrolling through. But I did a regular just normal cast on and I seamed it because I was too lazy to do the provisional cast on. The yarn is from Fish Knits Yarn, and the colorways are all ZK related. So can you see those? And I don't know which ones are which anymore. I know I tied them in that order, but I don't know which, which way is which. All I know is it's 200 and, what do we say, 231 yards? Yes, 231 yards of a DK weight. And it's long enough that you can wear it without being awkwardly long, but also I can double it up. However, I'm not keeping this. This was going to be a gift for a friend of mine. So she doesn't know it yet. I will see her later in the year. And so I'm going to put it aside for her. But it's just a squishy, lovely cow. Finish that. So I finished two projects and I finished two Master Knitter swatches. Last week I told you I had done the maths for a cable swatch for the flaring and I sat down and I knit the swatch. I'm not gonna lie, actually I think I have this upside down. I do. Not that it really matters that much. I'm not totally happy with this. I think it flares, the bottom I feel flares more than the top but I feel like it flares a little. So I'm not sure if I just didn't block it aggressively enough or if I need to look at my increase, decrease a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna set that aside and ponder it and see how I feel about it after I've done some other things and I might come back and redo that one. But the other thing I did this week was I have two lace swatches I need to do. And I have to write a pattern for both of them. One of them has to be a charted pattern and the other one has to be written line by line. This is my first one that I've done and I'm writing the pattern line by line. So I've started this 
I started the pattern writing. I finished the swatch this morning, so it is not washer block, so it looks kind of, it's lace, so it's a little cat yaki, but it's a snowflake pattern, and I love it. So there is that. So I have done two Master Noter swatches and two projects. I'm kind of proud of myself. I thought I hadn't really accomplished much this week, and I had. So that's what I've been working on. I have one other project that I kind of want to talk to you about. Um, I don't know if you have ever heard of the organization Knitters for Knockers, but I found out recently that we have a local chapter, not in my town, but the town over the next hospital. And they came Tuesday night and talked with our little group, our knit crochet group. And FYI, Knitters for Knockers actually has a crochet pattern too. So if you're a crocheter and you want to help, that is one way you can. Um, anyways, they came to our group and said they were looking for knitters. So I filled out the paperwork, I got some yarn, and I have cast on my first boob. So I have a knocker on the needles. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to say that I'm going to make just tons of these, but I do believe that this is something um, that I want to help with. This is a project that I feel... Um, would benefit many in my area, in my community, and it's something I can do. Quite honestly, um, the pattern's super easy. I am a DPN girl, so I've got it on a set of DPNs right now, and it's it's very, very easy to do. They do have very specific yarn that they want to use. The yarn I'm using is Cotton Fair, and it's a little bit rough on my hands just because um, of the cotton content, but I think it'll be okay. So. I'm working on a knocker. That's what I have going right now. Actively going, I should say. Um, I have a feeling that there'll be more, obviously. I at least need a set of these. So we'll see how long this fall takes me. Um, as far as sock madness goes, because I know some of you have asked, keeping up with that, round four closes at the end of this week. I think it closes Sunday. So I have a few more days of Sock Madness this round closing, and then, excuse me, however long it takes to finish this round, a few days for the specs to come out, and then the next round will start. So I imagine sometime in between now and when I talk to y'all next week, there'll be a new pattern out. I don't know. I'm kind of hesitant to say, oh yeah, I'm going to make this cut because only eight people get through this time. I don't know if I'm faster than the first eight of us. We'll see. So that's what I have going. I know it's not necessarily big and fancy, but I finished two whole projects and two swatches. I am kind of proud of that. So if you have questions about anything I've talked about, um, don't hesitate to contact me. All the contact information is at the end or come on over to the Ravelry group. If you um, have questions, like I said, Come chat with us. There's plenty of people, you know, who can share things. Other than that, I will talk to you later. See ya!